Hello and welcome to Where the Living Room Used to Be, a podcast about Rhode Island's music scene. All right, five with Sarah Greenwell. What is or was your favorite Rhode Island record store and why? Okay. I like Olympic records. Awesome. Well, I like them all. Well, yes. I don't know if I've been to every single one, but I do like, you know, the main ones. But um, I think because that the first place I lived was on William Street, uh, okay. like over on the east side, and that was like the closest one. And there was just so nice in there. And yeah, just yeah. Little store on cute street. I don't know. I just like it. Yeah. It's so nice. I don't know. Yeah. But I mean, I like them all. But I also think um, I would like to give a shout out to Empire Guitars too. Because that place, I bought one of my first real electric guitars there. And I've since bought a few, a couple of them. There's um from them and yeah, they're just helpful, they're the best, they're honest, and they are so knowledgeable. And I really enjoy going there and talking to them. <laughs> That's cool. Who do you uh work with? Do you work with Mike there or um like Sam? Yeah, I, I they've all kind of always helped me out, but cool. Yeah, Mike mostly. Nice. Yeah, definitely. Shout out to uh Olympic and to Empire. What is your favorite drink tied to the state? <laughs> okay, so I've I've never so what's the um oh yeah, coffee milk? I've never had coffee milk. Oh no, all right. Because I'm not a milk drinker. It's milk, right? With coffee syrup. Yeah, it's like uh basically chocolate milk, but instead of putting chocolate syrup, you put like this coffee syrup. I never had so. chocolate milk either, but oh, um right. let's say uh, probably my friend's brand, um, Granny Squibs Iced Tea. Oh, nice! Yeah, yeah. Kelly, I They're like great. their tea. And before they even owned it, I was a big fan. That's cool. Plus, yeah. Not that they it's plus, but yeah. Other than that, I don't, I don't drink that many, that much stuff. Just drink yeah. water. Yeah. I was going to hopefully you drank water because I was going to be concerned for a second there. But <laughs> I know someone who doesn't drink water. What? How? I thought you, you can't live <laughs> no, without. You drink coffee, a lot of coffee. Oh, like, okay. Wow. But they don't drink, they, they never drink like a glass of water. They go on hikes in the desert and they don't drink a glass of water. I'm not joking. Never. That's inc- that's not uh, That is a. Uh, scary and impressive (laughs) (laughs) uh cool um what is your favorite place in rhode islands like where do you like to hang out when you're here like is it a certain park or um um i love the west side yeah cool i think probably because um i spent a lot of time living over there um Mm -hmm. And it changed my life. I mean, mostly the people that I was living with, like Roz, now Virginia, Kate Jones, they changed my life. But um, and the house that I was living in changed my life. But I, uh, I just like it over there. I like Dexter mm-hmm. Park. I like Lollapalooza. I mean, I know that's down the road, but it's just a good vibe over there. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Cool. What is your favorite Rhode Island pizza? This is a good one. Um, well, I would say, oh God, I forget the name of it now. <laughs> Fellini's, Fellini's. Fellini's. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I know what it's not. It's not flatbread pizza. That's for sure. You don't like flatbread? Nope. It's, okay. Mostly don't like the owners there, but. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. It's, it seemed like you had like. A... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's okay. some. Be- there's some hidden beef there but i like fellini's <laughs> yeah nice no yeah fellini's is is incredible um but yeah i guess I'd, it, it's we have quite a 
diversity of pizza here. So, and uh, probably that's, you know, what I will be known for is the guy that asks people's their favorite Rhode Island pizza. Like, no, my favorite, uh, you know what? Coincidentally, I did an interview with Roz and they asked me mine as well. Like not you and oh, Roz really? are the only people that have a- actually asked me. I've done so many interviews. Um, well, but mine, uh, mine, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, mine is, uh, there's, I guess more of a backstory with it, but the first date I went on with my like now wife was at Bob and Timmy's and, um, uh, which was off of Atwell's Ave and, we would go every month, like on our month anniversary, uh, for the first year that we dated, we would always go back to Bob and Timmy's. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so that one is my favorite. And like, unfortunately it's not around anymore. So it's, I guess in the, the whole, uh, pizza that used to be, I guess, but, uh, but yeah, that one is, is mine. I, I mean, I, I, I love it for that story, but I also just love that style of pizza. It was just really, uh, something that was unique and, and, uh, I wish that was still around. You should like read. Do you have a picture of it? Of uh, like it I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, there's there's pictures around. I never took pictures of like, but uh, <laughs> did you, did you never go to Bob and Timmy's or? Uh, no, but I was just gonna say like you should recreate like like a little area of it in your house yep. one day and take your wife on a date. Oh, there. you know that's a really good idea. Like recreate it. That's yeah, like like some like parent trap and stuff, but. Nice. You know, so create the date, but... Maybe I'll do that. Yeah. It's pretty, we live in a small apartment over here, like uh, off of like Pleasant Valley Parkway, but so we can kind of pull off the small room. Uh, Cause yeah, Bob and Timmy's was like, I don't know, eight tables or something like that. It was like a really small Wait, spot. Like a sign on the door that says Bob and Timmy, Tim, Timmy's? Timmy's. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, that one's mine. So, <laughs> uh, well, cool. And thank you for asking, Sarah. I appreciate it here. You're up there in the Hall of Fame with Roz now of my favorite guests. Uh, <laughs> um, and uh, last question is, uh, what is your favorite event that takes place in the state? And this could be anything. You know, it could be a music event. It could just be, a, you know, a, a fair or whatever, you know. Yeah. I'm trying to think in the state of Rhode Island, the whole state. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So some people have said parades that they like going to. Um, I don't know if you've been to the New Newport Kite Festival, but that is pretty awesome. I've gone. No, I would go to that. So cool. I've never been to Newport Folk Fest either, but I think that Neither that's I, a yeah. One. Yeah, that one. I'm happy that that exists. Um, but my favorite event can it be like something personal? Yeah. Well, right now I'm like obsessed with playing pickleball. So I really appreciate when I'm in Rhode Island, when I get to go like down to Newport and play pickleball with these people that I mean, have met there. And oh, that's it's cool. And, and nice. And I don't, I never spent so much time in Newport because it's not super my style, but it's really yeah. beautiful down there. And like just the drive. And to go like do something outside for like a long time makes me really happy. So that's rad. That's rad. How did you get into pickleball? Um, I met somebody who like showed me how to play, Mm -hmm. and then I was like immediately addicted to it every day. (laughs) Like I played it for like four hours this morning, and then I almost went back, but then I was like. If I go back, I might miss this interview. So I, I, I was like, I have to just like be I have, yeah. Anyway. How is it similar and how is it different from from t- uh tennis and you know, uh because it's I mean, I know it's a smaller court, paddles are more like a ping pong like a large ping pong paddle and stuff like that, right? From what I uh, know yeah, about so it. I've but never, like how I've never played tennis, but um, uh, <laughs> so I have no idea. Oh, but okay. I think, I think it's what is it scored the same way? Like, is it you know, like no, it's, it's okay. mostly played as doubles? I do know that, that okay, that's really with tennis, but um, yeah, it's just like a it's just it's actually a game of like patience and like slow, kind of softer hitting, like unattackable shots. So, oh, okay, I'd say that that's the difference, but yeah, I learned during um, like quarantine because wow. you could be out 
died and it's social yeah. isolating and all the shows were canceled. So it's got out like a similar em- energy. That's awesome. That's awesome. You should try you gotta, it. I'll teach you. That's rad. Yeah. No, I, I, I love all that stuff. So that's really cool. And, uh, yeah, I've seen it. You know, I, I work for Black Sun Valley Tourism Council and we like represent the northern part of the state and we have it's called Four Courts. We actually have a couple of tennis places here. Um, but yeah, they were like, we have pickleball, you know, so I was like, what's that? You know, so that that's basically what I told you is about as far as I went into my research of it, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, that's uh, sounds like it's fun, you know, and I, we just watched the uh, new uh show shrinking with uh jason siegel and harrison ford and they're playing pickleball in it so I was just, check that. yeah <laughs> so it's it just seems like it's coming around you know so uh but that's cool yes. yeah, um, they actually say it's the fastest growing sport in in the world or in america like in the show it's like all right <laughs> so that yeah. is that's the rumor I think you'll connect with it but uh but yeah thanks again sarah it's really cool to uh learn about uh your your view on Rhode Island and uh, some of the places that you love and uh, some of the shops that you support. Uh, so thank you so much, Sarah. Really appreciate it. Thank you. I believe that hands can lie Every line and corner I don't want these plants to die I've run out of water I'll send